Hi guys, welcome to my Skybox 2's channel. This is Robin and Daryl. Oh, yeah, he's back. Uh, we're getting ready to open up box number 58. If you see anything in this box you'd like, please leave a comment under the comment section of the timestamp, a small description like necklace, bracelet, ring, earring, and the dollar amount. And um, if you've not done business with me before, before you start commenting, Please send me an email at myskywatch2 at gmail.com. If I have to chase you for your information, I'm going to the next person who wants the item. I need your PayPal email if you have one. If you don't, that's not an issue. Your shipping address, your YouTube name, your full name, first and last, so I can connect the two, your YouTube name and your full and last name. We ship only in the U.S. and shipping is $5.00. We invoice at the first of the month or at $100, whichever is first. And we will ship immediately if you tell us that you want the items immediately. I'll send you an invoice and we'll ship it on out after you pay. This is my email address again, myskywatch2 at gmail.com. Please be sure you registered with me before you start commenting or it will go to the next person. So with that being said... Box 58 was, I am going to give it to you, box 58 was a 10 pound, 6 ounce box of metallic jewelry from shopgoodwill.com. So we're going to see what we've got in this box. First thing, we have this little necklace. Those are swallows, I think. Birds, um, lobster claw class, extender with the bead. It's really cute on the neckline. There you go. And again, this is your, the lobster claw class is silver. The rest of it's gold tone. That's your curved chain on both sides. And your birds, and this jewelry will be cleaned before it goes out. This needs cleaning. Very cute. This is $3. The next necklace we have. Oh, it looks like it might be silver. It's very tarnished. Spark 925 Italy. The clasp is also marked 925. Here's your chain. It's very tarnished. It's dark. Comes down to this gold tone uh, moon piece, which may be uh, gold over silver. I'm going to test it to see what it does. Hmm. hardly get a scratch mark on it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. This is the gold piece. But it's on a silver uh, sterling chain. So we'll test the chain anyway. Definitely is silver, I can tell. And the class was marked silver. And I think the moon shape is gold over silver. But we'll see if it's magnetic. Sometimes when you have gold over silver, you know, that's magnetic, wasn't it? It will, sometimes a tarnish comes through on the gold. No, that's magnetic. So, I'm not sure what this is made of. We do have tarnishing marks on there. I don't know if that will come off or not. Let's see. We'll try the uh, gold. Oh yeah, it's coming off. It's 
so it will polish up. I polished up in this area here. And it's on a silver chain. Let me test that so you can see. Chain and the clasp. Chain, very silver. The clasp, very silver. So, we're going to sell this for 18. There you go, honey. Okay. The next one we have is a chevron type necklace in gold tone. We have some beads here. This is a curved chain, nice long curved chain. It is a J. Crew. Whoops. It's got your little stone in the back. Your little J. Crew. And there's your little stone in the back. There's your lobster claw and extender. This is a very pretty necklace. It's in very good shape. This one's six dollars. The next one we have is a Lucky Brand. There's your little clover and your little stone. Pretty lobster claw clasp. Double curved chain. And it comes down to these teardrop shaped pendants. There's three of them. They're different shapes. It's very cute. This is eight dollars. These are not magnetic, but they're probably not silver. Yeah, they're copper based. So it's silver over copper, and it's very cute. Really nice findings on that. The next item we have is a beautiful watch. Xanadu. It's got a mother of pearl face on it. Baguette and round cut CZs. All down the watch band and there's none missing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the underside. It's in great condition. There's no battery so I don't know if it works. We're going to do this one for 25 and if you want the battery put in it to see if it works that's going to be 30 That's for the price of the battery and the labor to put it in. It's got a little stone here I put the 12 mark. I don't know if that's a CZ or a little diamond. It doesn't say. Let's look at the back a minute. See if it says anything. Hong Kong. So this is vintage. The dial is made in Hong Kong. It's very pretty. Nice watch to wear out. The next thing we have is a little snowman. It's a brass um, napkin ring. Oh, but it's magnetic, so it's not brass. Now that part's not magnetic. So the ring is brass, but the snowman is not. We're going to put it in the Hobby Lot. We're going to start a new Hobby Lot. I don't even have a bag for it. Oh, I can take care of that problem for you. Good. We have another little napkin ring here. We're going to put that one in the hobby lot. No, I want to go faster. We have these. I don't have to remember the prices on these, honey. Yeah, hobby lot. That's right. 
The next are these little flowers made with pearls and rhinestones. There you go. And so I'm going to put these in the Hobby Lot. Very cute. The next one is Silver Tone. Oh, we have a little elephant charm attached. I don't know if that's a designer tag or not. It's got a lobster claw clasp, nice curved chain. Then you have all these different chains. Silver Tone, there's no wear on this. It's very pretty multi-chained. It's a little tangled up. But it's got a nice layer of chains there as you can see. You have Rolo and Curve and there's no wear on the gold. So we're going to do this for 15. It's very beautiful. The next necklace I went ahead and put on Big Sky. It's a long necklace with multi-chains also. And you have the mixed metals. As you can see, you've got gun metal and rose gold and gold and silver. We have rhinestones on there and beads. You have these rings up at the top. You have a little bead there on that one and this side. Here are your different chains. You can have a copper copper's chains there. Up here you've got the gold and the gunmetal and copper mix. It is a Ali Khan of New York. I have no idea who that is. Here are your rhinestones. Smoky kind. Smoky gray. Very cool. Let's see. Just curious. Yeah, all this magnetic. So we'll do this multi-chain one for ten dollars. Very nice. Mixed metals. The next necklace is a Cleopatra style necklace. Here's one side and here's the other. It's in excellent condition. It's got a brass look to it. Lobster claw clasp extended with the bead. These are not magnetic, these brass pieces. Let's see. Put it on sky here. Can't tell which way is which. That's back in there. Yeah. Silly me, I had it right the first time. There you go. We're going to do that for $4. Like I said, that's brass. It's very pretty. We have a nice heavy chain. It's still got the tag attached. It's got a little rhinestone here that's prong set, but there's no um, tag. So I don't know who the maker is. Large lobster claw. This is very weighty. It's a statement chain. Here it is on sky. Very pretty. Four dollars. Like I said, I believe it's probably got a maker, but the tag's off of the little stone is still there. The next is a tassel necklace. 
It is White House Black Market. Lobster Claw Class with an extender with a bead. The snake chain, it's all in excellent metal condition. The metal is in excellent condition. And it comes down to these two leather tags, tassels. That's the best I can show it. It's like a Y necklace. Very pretty, or Lairette necklace. This, I don't believe slides, no. So this does not slide. It's preset in there. This is eight dollars. Next is pretty, pretty. I love these beads on here, these glass beads. Very pretty. Beautiful little dainty chain. It's a long chain. Lobster claw clasp. There we go. This is six dollars. Very beautiful. I'm gonna put it on big sky real quick so you can see the length. That it is long. There you go.